always relationships are more important than punchlines, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean I don't think anybody would listen to that and be like, Oh, that's a real that's a real dip. Like she must be crying about that line. Um and I think I think because of how crazy and strange and fateful the way we met was, I think we have to pick our moments to like do stuff together and make sure it's only really cool. Um, as long whenever we talk directly okay now what if later in the song i was also to have said uh i made her famous is that uh is is no, it, did you say that yes it might have happened oh, God. <laughs> well, what am I about it? uh I went, like that do the hair flip yeah i mean um mm -hmm. it's just kind of like whatever at this point yeah but i mean you gotta tell a story the way that it happened to you and the way that you experienced it. Like, you honestly didn't know who I was before that. Like, yeah. it, just, it doesn't matter if I sold 7 million of that album before you did that, which is what happened. You didn't know who I was before that. It's fine. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> yeah. It Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well girl you have found me. So grab a snack and a drink. Hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. Best friend, best friend, best friend. We got to talk because this has been everywhere, but I was traveling for like literally a day and a half the day that it came out. So I couldn't talk about it. Then I come home and then Selena Gomez, Benny Blanco came out. So I was literally covering that. So I'm finally getting to this. But if you guys have not been updated on everything going on with Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, girl, there is just so much to talk about. So here we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to read you guys like, uh, um, I'm going to read you guys like, um, how it, a little summary of everything. So you guys understand what's going on. Okay. So listen, Okay, it says here, right? Let, I'm just gonna give you like a little preview so we're all on the same page. So it says, okay. Do you guys remember in 2016 about that leaked phone call with Taylor and Kanye? That's what we're gonna be talking about. So it's no secret that Taylor Swift doesn't get along with Kim and Kanye, especially after that phone call leaked. So it says here, okay. Let me give you a quick refresher. Back in 2016, Kanye West released a song called Famous, where he sings the lyrics, I feel like me and Taylor might have, might still have sex. Why I made that bitch famous. Months later, the music video came out, dis, dips, dip, pisting, dip, pisting, I don't know what the fuck that means, a new Taylor Swift wax figure in bed next to Kanye, along with several other famous figures. At the time, Kanye claimed that he got permission from Taylor about these lyrics in a one-hour-long phone call. A few days later, a source confirmed that while, yes, they did talk on the phone, Kanye never got permission to call Taylor a bitch in his song. He'd reportedly only asked her to share the song on Twitter. Kim then released video footage of the call, which was edited to make it seem like Taylor was approving the lyrics fans sided with Kim and Kanye, and Kim, hashtag Kim exposed Taylor party began trending and people commented the snake emoji on Taylor's social media pages. Taylor then went into hiding because of the constant bullying from Kanye's fans and released her album Reputation a year later, which made several references to the entire situation. Okay, now flash forward to today, Taylor was named Time Persons of the Year and spoke candidly about the whole debacle, among other moments throughout her career in her interview. Make no mistake, she says, my career was taken away from me. You have a fully manufactured frame job in an illegally recorded phone call, which Kim Kardashian edited and then put out to say to everyone that I was a liar. She continued to say that took me down psycholo uh, psychologically Logically, to a place I've never been before. I moved to a foreign country. I didn't even leave a rental house for a year. I was afraid to get on phone calls. I pushed away most people in my life because I didn't trust anyone anymore. I went down really, really 
hard. I thought that moment of backlash was going to define me negatively for the rest of my life, she continued, recalling how reputation was met with skepticism at first. And luckily, her fears did not come true because she's in the peak of her career, honey. And Taylor Swift is not holding anything back, honey. In the singer's new interview with Time, she says that um, in the... Uh, that the, the call, the 2016 phone call, took a toll and that her and Kim Kardashian's ex-husband, Kanye West, regarding his song Famous Taylor Swift, that took me down to a place I've never been before. Um, so flash forward to today, after all of that, Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, hasn't felt the need to say anything. And her Instagram is being flooded with, you guessed it, bitch, snake emojis, girl. You don't even know the snake. I think people's fingers are blue because they are pressing that snake emoji like there is no tomorrow, bitch. It's like their rent is being dependent on it, okay, bitch? And here's the thing, and I have to say, like, um, you know, I feel like Kim Kardashian, when she was with Kanye, and this is just my personal opinion, she was a robot. I feel like she was so blinded by him. You know, now the Kim Kardashian that we see nowadays is very different than that Kim that we seen at, you know, when, with Kanye. She's She tries to be a lot more relatable nowadays and she tries to be a little more, you know, real. And that's why I'm very like, um, I'm very surprised that she hasn't even found like the, the audacity, you know, to, you know, to, to 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 say sorry, to say, you know what, Taylor, I really did fuck up, and I really do apologize uh, for doing that. You know, Taylor Swift called Kim Kardashian out in Time Magazine, bitch. I mean, if you talk about revenge, this is the revenge, and you know, I just feel like, look, Kim, you are raising beautiful children. Do the right thing, you know, right? You know what I mean? And also, you guys, the, 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 the Swifties are Swifting, honey. And the, the backlash is backlashing, honey. And it is not looking good for Kim Kardashian. So do you think that she should apologize to Taylor after, you know, so many years and having, you know, Taylor really talk about it and say how it really took a toll on her mental health? And the, the issue here is that Taylor actually, sources say, she's actually open to a, an apology which also, you know, Seth, I, I think I need to work on myself, bitch, because I see a lot of people like saying, you know, I'll forgive them, you know, Britney Spears forgiving her family, Taylor Swift, you know, willing to forgive Kim Kardashian. And I'm over here like, you know what, girl, that little bitch who fucking pushed me down in the, the playground when I was four years old and she took my fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich, Amanda, I will never forget that girl and I will never forgive that girl. I'm not revengeful, bitch. I will forget. I, listen, I, I don't know, girl. Maybe I need to find peace within it. Amanda, if you're watching, girl, I hope you enjoy the damn peanut butter, okay? And I hope you're doing a lot better today. But what you did was wrong, okay? Anyway. It was really hard for you to apologize. I understand that, and I really do appreciate it. But the only thing really that there is to do is to forgive and forget. So I really do. I want to forgive you. And I want to forget you. Yeah. Wait, girl, what do we think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think Kim Kardashian should apologize finally? Do you think she should do it publicly? What do you think is going to happen with this backlash? Let me know in the comments. And are you, whose side are you on? Are you on Taylor's side? Or are you on Taylor's side? Let me know in the comments. Because I don't think anyone's going to be on Kim and Kanye's side. So I might as well just say Taylor or Taylor. Anyways, this is, girl, this is giving revenge Taylor's version. Okay, bitch? I love you all very much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.